Hi, my name is Nanja Prashwat. I'm going to give you a crash course on how to identify unknown plants. Before you start this task of identification, you need to have some basic understanding of what plants are, how they fit into the bigger picture of all the animals, plants, and the, and the, the fungi and bacteria. And I hope you, you have that understanding, and based on that, we could go forward in uh, taking an unknown plant and then trying to identify it using certain the guidelines of the manuals. Firstly, when you talk about the plants, plants fit into this larger scheme of classification and any object that you come across can be classified into two categories. One as the live materials of the objects and the dead objects. The plants belong to the live category and they become one of the major six groups such as bacteria, fungi, animals. Because we are dealing with the plants, let's learn a little bit more about the plants. And uh, so when you go out and look at the plant, you come across some plants living in the air. Means they don't have any roots and they that's one kind of plant. Some, some plants live on other plants. They're called epiphytes. Some plants live on the water. Some plants live in the, on the land. They are known as the terrestrial plants. There are also some plants which grow underneath, and also they only come out when they need to be pollinated. So there are different kinds of plants, which I'm sure you are aware of those ones. But for central Queensland, our tropical part of Australia, that is Queensland, we find majority of the plants to be in this category, terrestrial plants. So those terrestrial plants belong to different groups taxonomically, but for convenience, I group them into these categories. That means it's purely for convenience. When you go out, you see this kind of plant. Means you see quite a lot of eucalypts, acacias, melaleucas, casuarinas, legumes, palms, grasses, sedges, and so forth. You need to have a bit of understanding. When you pull out a, an unknown plant, sh you should have some understanding. Am I pulling out a gymnosperm? Am I pulling out an acacia? Am I looking at eucalypt? The reason being, when you, when you have that understanding, you look for certain special characters. For example, in eucalypts, you look for gum nuts. If you're looking for the legumes, you look for the root nodules. And if you're talking about the casuarinas, you're looking for the, the cones or the leaves, modified leaves. That's why it is important to have a bit of understanding so that you can apply the right kind of a guideline for identifying that group of plants. You should also have some understanding about the community in which they grow. What does, what does that mean? Community means a range of plants live in a certain types of habitat or a community, and they're known as rainforests, dry rainforests, forests, woodlands, scrubland, heathland, grassland, and wetland. So it's good to know in which community these plants grow. That will also help you in identifying that specimen. The reason being, certain plants grow only in uh, wetlands. Certain plants grow in only in the savannas. Certain plants grow in the grasslands. So by knowing the place where you collect it from, it will help you to identify them because certain plants grow only in those habitats.